वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट माउथ कैविटी इन विच वी हैव लर्न अबाउट स्लाइवरी ग्लैंड टंग स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टूथ एंड टाइप्स ऑफ टीथ वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ सेम टॉपिक वी ईट अ वेराइटी ऑफ फूड एवरी डे वट वुड हैपन टू ऑल दिस फूड इफ दे रिमेन अनटचड वेल वी ऑल नो दैट द फूड विल रॉट एंड विल डिवेलप लॉर्ड्स ऑफ जर्म्स इन साइड दैम so if you keep the food untouched this is what will happen to it after few days when we eat food does all the food goes inside our stomach not really some of the food gets stuck inside our mouth and what happens to all that food well they start to rot as we have seen in previous picture and it leads to tooth decay if you will not brush your teeth properly or will keep poor oral hygiene what is tooth decay tooth decay is the destruction of teeth structure caused by lack of cleanliness of the teeth that causes the growth of bacteria in the mouth and it leads to dental caries it is also known as dental decay or dental caries when small pieces of food get trapped between the teeth dental plaque is formed it is a yellow sticky layer on teeth the natural bacteria of mouth act upon them as a result acid is produced which slowly damage the teeth this causes tooth decay which further leads to tooth cavity let us watch this video for better understanding Topic. tooth decay <laughs> what causes cavities a black sketch pen hooray nah. Huh? Our mouth contains billions of bacteria which live on our teeth, tongue, etc. Most of these bacteria are usually harmless. Oh. Just like me, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now listen. A tooth consists of enamel, dentin and pulp. Huh? Enamel is mostly made up of minerals. Dentin is a layer underlying the enamel. whereas pulp has blood vessels and nerves. Oh. Now, when we eat foods containing sugars, some of these bacteria feed on the sugars producing acid. This acid starts to dissolve the minerals of the tooth enamel, causing tooth hmm. decay. Usually, our saliva restores these minerals, thus preventing further decay. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> But if we continuously eat sugary foods, then our saliva cannot keep up, causing the bacteria to pass into the dentin and then eventually into the pulp, thus creating cavities. <laughs> you should follow some steps to take good care of the teeth. Brush and floss your teeth twice a day. Avoid eating too many sweets as it may promote bacterial growth. Eat a balanced diet. Rinse your mouth after every meal and visit your dentist regularly. We have already discussed about salivary glands. Let us now learn more about saliva. Saliva is the secretion of salivary glands present in the mouth. It is 99% water. It contains an enzyme called salivary amylase. Salivary amylase breaks down the starch present in food into simple sugar called maltose. This is the reason when we chew boiled rice it starts tasting sweet after some time because starch present in food breaks down into simple sugar called maltose chewing of food properly breaks down the food into smaller pieces and mixes it with saliva this process is called mastication the mouth cavity leads into the pharynx the tongue pushes the chewed food into pharynx it is a muscular tube and is a common passage for food and air This muscular tube is divided into three parts upper middle and lower the upper part allows air to pass through it the lower part allows food to pass through it and the middle part is for both food and air the pharynx leads to the next organ called food pipe or esophagus it is about 25 cm long tube the food from the mouth is passed into the stomach through esophagus Digestion does not takes place here. The muscles of esophagus contract and expand to push the food down into the stomach. This wave of muscular contraction in the esophagus is called peristalsis. The esophagus continues into the stomach. The stomach is a J-shaped bag-like organ. It is the widest part of alimentary canal. It is thick-walled and the inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus, hydrochloric acid, 
digestive juices and enzymes like pepsin and renin. The mucus protects the inner lining of the stomach. The hydrochloric acid kills bacteria in food. Digestive juices and enzymes break down protein into simple substances. In the stomach, food is churned thoroughly and changes into pulp-like thick paste. Stomach also has a valve at the opening which prevents the backflow of food into the esophagus. So students, today we have discussed the cause of tooth decay, how we can take care of our teeth, saliva, structure of pharynx and the stomach. We will discuss the structure of rest of the organs of elementary canal in my next video. Children, I already told you that in stomach hydrochloric acid is present which kills bacteria. Now why this acid present in our stomach does not harm the stomach lining? Just think about it. We will discuss it in our next interaction class. Till then, take good care of yourself. Thank you and stay safe.